So in the Carabao Cup second round, we're versing Sheffield United. And considering the fact that we can't beat Cambridge United, I'm not expecting much of a result against a Premier League side. Unfortunately, the board want us to play entertaining and attacking football. If we come away with even a point or a two-goal loss, it's definitely not going to be attacking or entertaining. Hello guys and welcome back to the 16th episode of the Salford FM21 save where today we are versing Sheffield United in the Carabao Cup as I just said and then we're going to simulate all the way to the end of the transfer window just for you guys because I'm just that nice and I've got so much spare time on my hands. If you are enjoying this series so far please make sure that you like this video. Can we get 5 likes for this episode that would be amazing. I really appreciate all the support as per usual and make sure that you do subscribe and turn on those notifications if you are new around here. But for now we need to focus on the Sheffield United game and I think I have made some transfers since the last time I've seen you guys. I have a cold and that is probably not the best way to start a video but I'm definitely not bothering to change it. To Ray, he's been sold. And uh, he's been sold for £125,000. So, that's pretty good. I finally got rid of him. I remember in the last episode, he didn't get sold for that fee. But we finally found a team that were willing to pay it. And he finally accepted that fee. This is a big one, though. Um, the guy that I never was able to pronounce his name, he's left for £1.4 million. So, if I don't get promoted this season, there's just no excuses. I have made some transfers since then to replace him. And one of them being Eastwood, who was looking like a pretty good goalkeeper, got a lot, got a lot of experience, and he's going to be our first choice keeper. He's played all the way up in the championship. He's had a lot of time in the Sky Bet League One. I think that's probably his level. So bringing him down to League Two, I think, is a uh, pretty good from us. And we have also managed to sign Christ, Christian Pierce, who was a centre back that I've never heard of in my life, but apparently is three and a half current ability. So more than happy to take him off a team that we are actually facing in the league and pop him into our squad and hopefully shore up that defense so this is actually the squad that we're going to be using against uh sheffield united i might actually make one change though i'm going to bring bolger off and bring clark on just for a wee bit more experience and that link in between the two although i think bolger and cargill probably aren't far away from creating a link i was just checking if they have created it let Still don't have any Hunter or, unfortunately, Willock and Clark are the three players that we could consider playing. But aside from that, it is a pretty strong 11. Brown's coming in because I've actually really thought about it. I think Henderson is not scoring because I just don't think he has the pace for the system that I want to play. So I'm trying this for this game. Obviously, we're not expected to win this one. So I think if we're going to experiment, it's definitely a good time to do it. Uh, I've still got a very strong lineup out there, though. So if we come away with a shock victory, I'll be very, very happy about it. Doherty can have a rest as well, actually. Go and bring Tal in. Aside from that, we have a very strong lineup, and even with the changes, it's a very strong team. Let's give a squad number to Eastwood. He can have number one. He's going to be our number one, unless I somehow find a brand new goalkeeper. That's going to be amazing for the rest of the season. I don't think he's going to be replaced. Sheffield United probably lining up with a very rotated squad, but... I'm certainly going to take the pressure off them tonight and hopefully they can come away with a shocked victory. Uh, they have got a couple of good players in there, a couple of players I do recognise. Early on we have an opportunity, but unfortunately their goalkeeper does collect it. And they clear it long, go through with Musa, who was one of the players I recognise, but Eastwood gets a good fine save to get him off the bat for our squad. I think that's his first save for us, I mean, unless there was a shot on target that we haven't seen from the highlight, but certainly the first highlight save that we've seen, so it's good. Good to see him getting a save. No, that is his first ever save for our club. So we'll definitely take that. Also, uh, Boggle and Lau. Uh, Egan as well. I think Wimmer he used to play for Tottenham. I definitely recognise him. Oh, for goodness sake. You, you, you're a Premier League side. You don't need to be injuring our players, man. It's just... It's not necessary. It's not kind. It's uh, it's actually quite uh, un, unfair. I think there should be some red cards being dished out. And... Sakuna is arguably our best player, so could you do it to someone else? Like, you know, maybe Clark. I don't like him that much anymore. Uh, we're keeping our weight in this game, and we've got 0 0.01 XG, so that that's not bad. We must have had a shot from about halfway, but we're certainly closing them down at the moment, and we do have an opportunity in their half, so could come with a surprise goal just before half. Th that pass is probably not going to help us 
get a surprise goal before halftime. If anything, it's going to help them get a expected goal before halftime. That's a clean tackle. Don't even tell me it wasn't. There we go. Uh, they're coming back at us, though. Boggle on the ball. Moving it forward, trying to find a ball into the mix. He does find space, but we do get it. And oh, Theo, that's not the pass that we wanted. Tao plays it into Brown, though, and we could be on a counter-attack here. Uh, Oscar, out on the right-hand side, playing it back into Tao. Wilson can't get to that, and they could be back on the counter-attack. They are. Mousse on the ball, dribbling it past the defender, plays it in, and they do score to make it 1-0 just before half-time. And that's really not what we wanted. We kind of did want to hold out, but, I mean... Yeah, no, they are a lot better than us. And yeah, yeah, you would expect it. Uh, Moussa on the ball, playing in a good ball. And a, it's a very good finish. I, I'm not sure if that's the Unal that has played for Leicester this season. But if it is, it's not surprising that he's picked up a goal. He's a very top quality player. He's more of a right winger, if I'm not mistaken. But I I wouldn't be surprised if he could play in a striker. But Wilson, <sighs> as soon as we can see... We got the other end and score, and I think that's our first shot on target. And James Wilson, mate, he's an absolute genius. I love him. He's come away with a goal against a Sheffield United squad in the Premier League. Sign him back, Manchester United. He needs to be playing for you guys. Beautiful passing by Oscar. And you have to say, the goalkeeper has gone unlucky. That has gone straight through his legs. But at the same time, should have been doing better from that sort of range. And Wilson has come away with a shot goal, which has meant that we're still on level terms. I'm going to potentially uh make a change i can't remember what i was going to do oh yes i do remember i'm gonna move it down from extremely high because i think it, that's probably why we're being so wasteful on position uh we don't normally do that many wayward passes so certainly going to try and keep it uh tight and make sure that every single pass that we play is an intelligent cool calm calculated one that is a very cool, calm, and calculated pass. And Moussa is in on goal just after the halftime break. And oh, you have to say that's the difference in quality. That is a beautiful finish. And yeah, there's nothing that Eastwood's able to do about that. Very good strike by Moussa and a great counter attacking opportunity. They, they're very good with the ball at their feet. And obviously, they're going to be a lot better than us in general. I believe that one was from outside the box. It's just that's just that's slightly disrespectful, mate. If we could pop up and score a goal straight afterwards like we did last time, that would be ideal. But considering six or seven minutes has already gone, I uh, don't think it's likely. Don't know if I like this tactic with Brown up top, but I am definitely thinking about bringing in a new striker because I do think that although Henderson is really good and did score quite a few goals for us last season, I think playing him as an advanced forward in this sort of a formula isn't the most intelligent thing to do. They have gotten a penalty, and I am choosing to ignore it, and hopefully Eastwood can make himself a hero. No, it's 3-1 on the day, and you have to say that's probably about what you'd expect. If it, if it gets any more than this, I will be disappointed, but for now, I think we can definitely accept that we're going to come away with a loss, and we're all very disappointed by the fact that we are losing in this game as you, you would expect and I'm, I guess that's a good thing that we're wanting to do well against Premier League sides but we're coming up away with the ball here Brown's trying to dribble past he does go for a shot but unfortunately for us it goes over the bar and I'm hoping to make another substitution and this time it's going to be Henderson to come no Henderson got brought on Brown to come off then and I can't bring Brown off don't have another winger well, that's not intelligent. I need to buy another winger. We need more cover in that position. Uh, Doherty, no close. Yeah, let's go with that. And let's give Waters some game time as well. Let's be honest here. We're getting knocked out of the cup. But we might try something different. I might try wing play. Is that, Is that intelligent? Wing play with only slightly wide. We might... Uh, nah, we might try this. Okay, I'm completely editing the tactic. Low crosses, hit early crosses, uh, standard, then we'll go counter, distribute, no we don't, we don't want to do that, uh, then we'll counter press, and oh, actually, I don't know if I like counter press right now, I think that might be one of the reasons why we're losing the ball so often, have that as standard, and that as higher, use type marking, and move more urgently, we're going to give it a crack, it's a tactic that worked well for me in previous FMs. It's not a tactic that's worked well for me recently because I haven't tried it, but we're going to give it a crack. And I mean, I guess if I'm going to experiment at any point in time, 
this is definitely the time to do so. Moussa on the ball, moving forward, looking for some space, and he can't find anything until he runs into the brick wall that is Clark. He tries to whip a ball in. They have brought it to the edge of the box, and I don't think my tactic has quite worked because I believe Cargill has just scored an own goal. I think that is after my tactics have been registered, so that's a, a, a little embarrassing, but we'll, we'll, we'll stick with it. We'll, 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 yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll stick with it. We're going to try taking that off, uh, as I don't like that already, and see what happens, because our wingers just aren't that great. I don't know. I'm finding it hard to unlock wingers in this game. I don't know if you're having the same experiences, but maybe I'm just bad at this game. That's probably likely, but... I'm definitely finding it difficult to find a way to get the best out of my wingers. The strikers, not too hard, but wingers, certainly different, difficult. Although, Brown and Henderson, strikers and wingers, linking up there. But it does look like they're in with an opportunity to counter-attack. Uh, it's gone straight over everyone. Unal's in on goal, and he's not missing here. Great save by Eastwood. I mean, got it on target. And he came away with a good palm there, so that's what we like to see. Don't know really what to do in this situation. They're all unhappy, but not exactly demanding more from us. I mean, it's it's a Premier League side. Let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Why is no one up, though? That That is slightly frustrating. Like, um, I'm okay with us sitting back and defending, but we, we also should be ready to counter-attack. It's just not what the tactic is telling you to do. Moose is in our goal, and that's because we've just been wasteful with position. I guess this tactic is an intelligent. I'm not going to do it again. It's, let's just say that for free. And we'll maybe go back to fluid counter-attack, because... Why not? We'll give it a crack. Oh, I don't know what to do with this team. I, I guess I'm panicking in a game against a Premier League side, so probably not the right game to be panicking. If we lose our next few games, then I'll start panicking. To be fair, probably just going to get sacked if I lose my next few games. Someone commented the other day, uh, what will you do if I get sacked? Definitely crossed my mind a few times. Answer is I have no idea. Um, and also, I'd just like to mention, I love that you all have faith in me. You've all thought it. You all think I'm going to get sacked at some point. But I'm certainly going to tell them that they need to be better than that. I mean, 5-1 is pretty bad. I mean, yeah, it's pretty bad. They did rotate their squad as well, so... Yeah, not 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 a great debut for Eastwood either. He's come away with a 6.8. A 6.8! Conceded 4. Generous. They had clean sheets where the goalkeeper has gotten a lower rating than that. All right. Let's move on. Let's certainly move on from that one. We've got a week left in the transfer window. We've got plenty of money to spend. I better spend it on some good people. I'm saving it. I don't know why this is included in it, but we're including this in the video. You need to see what goes on behind the scenes. It's deadline day, and I'm not going to lie, I've done a lot of stuff. It's a combination of panic and, uh, and genius. So at least I'm half and half confident about it. Let's run through what I've done. So to start things off, we're going to go through what I've sold. And first of all, we've gotten rid of Thomas Asante. I finally think I've worked out how to pronounce his name. Well, it's a bit late now. I've just sold him. But anyway, he's gone for £28,000, I think it was. Pretty good fee for a player that we're not going to register or use. I'm happy with that. We've also gotten rid of the big man, Ian Henderson. Now, this is an interesting decision. Especially considering he was a top goal scorer last year with 21 goals. I just don't think he was that good though. And I think it's worth getting rid of him because I've brought in some good players. And we're going to start with Cass. He's not the best of the bunch. He looks a bit like Steven Tries in my opinion. But he's alright. He's alright. But that's not, that's not where it ends. There's more exciting stuff. Vessel is the next one to come in. He's a good one. 100k worth of value, coming in on a free, only 1.6k a week, and he comes in from Rother, Rother, I'm going to get my words right here, Rotherham, who have played in the championship in the previous season, and two seasons before that, so very good stuff from him, and someone that we might all know, I think he could have been a bit of a wonder kid in the lower leagues, way back in a few other football managers, but we've brought in Jerome Sinclair, a player that is actually experienced all the way up in the Premier League with four appearances, actually five, no, nine appearances for uh, Watford up in the top tier. And since then, he has kind of been bouncing around trying to find his feet. And I think he's going to find them here at Salford. And we also brought in a very good player. I'm stoked with this one. This is genius. We brought in a winger by the name of Boyd Muntz, 
who has come in for £140,000, but he is certainly one for the future. For some reason, he's at the under-21s, mate. He is a first-team player, and you know what? He's jumping straight onto the bench. Oh, no, he's on international duty. I guess that works out better. I don't have to switch around my squad. But for the game, the first game of the Pop John's Trophy, or the Pizza Cup, as I like to call it, is against Mansfield, and this is the squad that we're using. I think I was very tempted to change what I was doing and go to a different approach but i think i've finally got players that fit the system that i want to play so i don't think it's important to mess with it i think that for now let's just stick to the gag and press see what happens in this game it might not be the tactic it could just be the players that i'm deciding to go into said tactic last game was not good we lost 2-4 to scunthorpe we did get a red card though scowin definitely screwed us over a bit there but we we played all right it's important that we come away with a win here, and it's important that we come away with our next win in the league, because yeah, my job is, is, is uh, it's up in the air, let's just say that, and uh, let's not say any more than that. Vassal and Sinclair are going to get 26 and 27 respectively, and we're going to jump straight into this game and hope that we can come away with a win, and hopefully put ourselves back onto the right, pa uh, right path, right path that we need to be on to come away with just good performances honestly like i just yeah I, I, it's it's more important to me that we play well than actually win the title because I, i'm starting to look really bad at this game and i normally look quite bad at this game because truth be told i am quite bad at this game but I, it's just when i look really bad it's, it's not ideal especially when you you know post videos on youtube every single day you'd think you'd be a bit better at it by now but yeah, yeah, you never really learn. You never really learn. Waters playing in for Doherty, and I think the first opportunity of the game is our opportunity. Close, into Doherty. Back into Flanagan. Nice ticky tucker passing. This is short play that I like to see. We're calm in position, and Sinclair eventually goes for a shot. That wasn't very calm. Maybe would have liked to have seen a bit more. There was other options on there, but for now we're certainly dominating the game with four shots to their one, and another opportunity comes straight afterwards. Hopefully the fresh people are going to be hungry to score some goals early on in their Salford City careers. And that ball over the top has just split us, and a different Sinclair, not the one that we wanted to score, has come away with a goal. And I'll tell you what, something I'm doing straight away is I just don't agree with it. I just I think we're too high, and that is not you know about anything other than our line of defense i know what you're all thinking it's just about our line of defense we are playing too high and i think that it is genuinely affecting the way that we play and it's you would expect being high to affect the way that you play uh, close on the ball now hopefully we can come away with a straight away reply uh i don't think it's going to happen there's probably a fake tactic that we don't need to see but we're knocking around with some serious confidence oscar on the ball back into close over but can't find anyone We've actually got Hunter back. I think that's worth mentioning. He's a great player for us. And he's only just found his feet as he got injured. So I'm hoping that he comes straight back into the squad and starts firing them into the back of the net. Doherty trying to find Hunter, who does go for a shot, but it goes wide. And we just can't find a way to push into the middle and actually get shots that are really menacing towards the goal. But we are definitely the team that, you could argue, deserves to be ahead. And we have a free kick to potentially get ourselves back onto level terms. Doherty hits the post. And after 30 minutes, we're still a goal down. And they have already gone defensive. Five at the back. Ball winning midfielders, half backs. Yeah, no, they are accepting the fact that they do not deserve to be up in this game. And you know what? I am replying by going attacking. I'm going to yell at them at the, at the halftime break. Tell them I'm not happy with the performance out there. And I'm hoping to see better in the second half. Hopefully we see at least one or two goals. I would really hope to hope for two. But... We've gotten an injury early on. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but we probably should be firing more towards this goal and really pushing for some finishes because we have some great players in there. Vassal, Hunter, Sinclair, all should be pushing for the goals, but right now they just don't look menacing. And after 70 minutes of this game, just about, we are still goalless and we have an opportunity to change that to silver into close into flanagan and we are knocking it around again with a lot of confidence but it just is whether or not we get the ball into the mixer or we do another well not stupid long shot but you know almost useless long shot close into flanagan are we going to find a gap da silva maybe he can be the man to unlock something it comes back into doherty and uh we're still just trying to find some gaps in their defense very solid right now you have to say 
Maybe it would be worth asking them to hit early balls, but Hunter somehow found his way into the mixer and won us a penalty. Who's going to be taking it though? It's got to be oh, on his debut, Jerome Sinclair. I'm giving him a lot of faith here, and I think he's going to do it. One all, Jerome Sinclair. I believe in him. He hasn't done it. He's shot it straight at the keeper. Never change your penalty taker, boys and girls. Never change it. And we should be back on level terms now. An absolutely horrendous shot. And uh, it, it's a horrendous performance by us. Especially considering the fact that, you know, the XG does say that we should have won this game by at least, yeah, I don't know, two goals. But that's all right. That's, that's all right. It, it may only cost me my job. So it's not, it's not too big of a deal at all. Not like I like the save or not looking like an idiot on YouTube at all. Five minutes of additional time, nothing's happening. And that is broad daylight robbery from Mansfield Town. But it, at the very least, we can accept the fact that it, you know, it is against Mansfield in the Papa John's trophy. I've got a wee, wee bit of time left in the transfer window. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty much done. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm not quite done. I forgot, forgot, forgot. I had this guy. Yeah, no, we'll we'll sign him too. He's a good left winger op option as well as right wing. Again, more rotation. I'd like I'd like to explain myself by the way for selling, uh, Henderson because we re really are struggling with um with the keeping it under the threshold of money you can spend on people. It's 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 becoming a challenge for me right now. See, look if we. Submit him, he's made it go too much. Tal's not in the lineup, even. Oh, no, we do have Clark in the lineup. I'm genuinely considering dropping Clark because he's got such a high wage and I want to get rid of him. It's, it's an option, it's not one I thought I would take, but it's, it's an option. Gibson's the other man I think I could get out. Uh, that, that just puts us down. Yeah, Willock's out for a while. No, he's not. He's out for another three weeks. Ah, uh, I think it's got to be Gibson. And then we just don't have enough space for another player. But we've gone to a lot of under twenty ones, especially with Boyd Muds coming in now. Yeah, I reckon we can live with that for now. And I'm actually just going to simulate forward for the last thirty seconds. Not thirty seconds in the game, but you know, thirty minutes in the actual thing and there we go the deadline day has passed the biggest deal was to us with our goalkeeper going for 1.4 million pounds we did a lot with that money and I, I will admit this was one of the most difficult transfer windows and 140k does not actually justify how much we have done in this transfer window we have made some big signings vassal uh sinclair also uh, alan yeah he's being called alan then pierce as well theo scowen who else is big bulger We've also got Brown, Willock, just some great players coming in. And I'm hoping that they can gel. We can work out a way to all just get along. Can't we all just get along? That's not the lyrics to any song. But it should be. It was a very good song. How does it... Oh, no. Oh, how does it go? I don't know. Someone please let me know how that goes. But that is where we're going to end this episode. Please make sure that you like it. If you did enjoy it, don't know why you would have. We lost both games and it were both pretty terrible. But if you like the transfer action, please make sure to smash the like button. I am stoked with how this team is looking. And I'm hoping that you are too. Thank you once again so much for watching. And I'll see you all later.